this stuff. And it's Hello always again. the kids' movies that are the He's most atrocious. And the worst part is that... Haven't seen him before. I mean, Lucky I got something handy to bonk him with. Right, you, that's enough of that. Where do you... No. Ah, first <laughs> okay. The Trap Door is a British stop-motion series from the 80s, starring Burke, Hello. caretaker and provider for the horrible thing upstairs. Burke, me. We never get a good look at this wretched creature, but just looking at his living conditions tells us enough. Burke also lives with Boney, <sighs> a stuffy and whiny little skull, and Drut, some little spider thing. Every episode has a monster coming out from underneath the trap door, hence the name. These creatures are as follows, and I quote, The thingy, the big red thing, the flying what's it thingy, the sponge, the splund, the stupid thing, the lump, bubo, and rog. Hello, Burke. The latter of whom ends up befriending Burke and appearing in a few episodes. There are many more creatures and monsters than that, and they're all animated wonderfully. This is the most quintessential stop motion series you'll ever come across. Every character is made taking advantage of the medium. Charlie Mills and Terry Brain were experts at the craft. Every new monster moved in a different way or had a very different color palette. Anything to make Burke's new problem more distinct than the last. It's all gross, messy, and spooky, and they're loving it. Burke himself is the best part about it. I could never have expected Willie Rushton's voice here. It's so deep, and he sneaks in lines everywhere, making Burke such a quotable character. I couldn't begin to tell you how hard it was to choose examples, but here's a few good ones. All oh, the weevils are falling in me sludge. If you've got a problem, stuff a worm in it. If it's a sponge fight he wants, then a sponge fight he gets. A lovely day for Burks. Oh, glovitz. A joke's a joke, but this has gone some way beyond the realms of light entertainment. I particularly like all these squiggly wiggly bits. Come here, you ingredient! There were only two seasons, a total of 40 three to four minute episodes, and they're all delightful. The final moments of the last episode, however, need to be seen to be believed. Whatever happened to that big red thing then? Don't know. There was a surprising amount of merch for this show, too. There was a game on Commodore 64. Surprisingly looks better than most Commodore 64 games graphically. <laughs> Excuse me? Couple of adorable plushies were made. I once saw this jigsaw puzzle, which I almost bought just for the artwork. I mean, look at that. And then there was a board game. Now we're speaking my language. I think the idea here is that you launch your dice off these trap doors. <laughs> trying to knock over your opponent's pieces. But I think my copy here has seen better days. And that's it, really. That's the trap door, short and sweet. A funny little series that I felt like sharing. The whole show is easily available on YouTube, so if you ever felt like checking a few out, go for it. It'll definitely be up your alley. If your alley is full of the creepy and the crawly and the scungy. Anything left to say, Burke? Have you ever had one of those days? 